This morning, we are taking you to Stillwater with an energizing story about a family-run coffee company five generations strong. And it's known for some stellar cold brew, too. Our Shayla Reeves is taking us behind the beans of Willow's Coffee. Shayla, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, AJ and Heather. We are getting the rundown on how this new cold brew comes together. I'm here right now with Vi Viviana Gurdian, Gurdian with Willow's Coffee to kind of tell me a little bit about her family story. You are now a fifth generation coffee grower all the way from Costa Rica. That is correct, yes. Tell me, it started with your great-great-grandmother, right? Right, so I feel the pressure of being a woman and continue in this business, yes. And your father right now, still in Costa Rica, he's handling the growing, you're handling the other side of the business here in the United States, right? Yes, that's how we split the, the job right now. And you are excited about debuting the newest part. You're making it easy for folks to create their own cold brew at home. Well, you know, summer, calls for refreshing things. So we came up with a blend that comes from the farm to make the cold brew at home, yes. Well, show us how it works here. Well, I'm gonna do for every half cup, so I'm doing it with a cup measure, like regular that you have at home. I'm gonna pour these here. I'm gonna do two cups of cold water. That's the difference with a cold brew. You never use hot. So, oops, I spilled a little bit over there. So we will have these coffee here. I'm gonna mix it, mix it with us. We're gonna have these for 12 to 24 hours. We will put these in the refrigerator okay. or let it out. And then we will be ready to um, serve. use to serve the cold brew. Okay. And let's say 12 hours or 24 went by and we this is the final the product. Okay. <laughs> So these would be the cold brew. Okay. It's a little concentrate. You could do it as strong or light as you want. And we're gonna pour it one cup for you and for me. Let's right. start the day caffeinated. All right. And what's great about this is sometimes when people go and get a cold brew, they can only get, you know, what they're getting for that day, but they can make several uh, cups with this one bag. Oh, of course. Yes. They can do a lot. And then you can put any creamer that you would like and these, you know, taste fantastic on your cold brew. You could do it, uh, you can drink it straight. You can put any kind of milk that would be your, your favorite one. Mm -hmm. Or you could do... Um, uh, I would say even hot if you want your cold brew to put it, you know, to warm it up. That's fun to do too. Yeah, so you have options. You have a lot of options. That's right. Well, for sure. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us. And of course, we're not done yet. Tell us what we're going to be talking about in the next half hour here. Well, we do a coffee station, which is becoming really popular, fun for different events. We do from weddings to graduations, anniversaries, any kind of thing that people would have fun and we're gonna go we'll break up <laughs> perfect Viviana we're gonna be breaking that down for you coming up in, in the next half hour around 650 or so AJ and Heather cold you know, brew is a good way to get the day started. that's what I thought you know Shayla you know you and I are not big coffee people but that looked good, look I, good. really good mm -hmm. Yes, it is, actually. <laughs> I might have to pick it up after this. <laughs> All right, Shayla Reese, we'll check in with you in just a little bit. 